cold day today. We just got into a nice aqua pile here off of Diamond Head. Looks good out here. It's like 20 knots. I but we're intending to go over and run the ledge off of Molokai, but we're at uh, eight miles. We got a nice aqua pile. Don't, don't look real big, but they're coming up and feeding good. pound aku but it's a cool looking pile the akus aren't real big but coming up and feeding good so if we can get a couple of those we will we'll go back to that pile get our feathers back out and make a few more passes Oh, uh, yeah. Hey, rigger, real, real, real. Real that rigger. Get it tight. He popped off. You can hang that back up. Couple more cranks there. Yep, get right here. Yeah. Perfect. Good job. All right, we got him there. We'll go back through there. Well, we just took another pass through there and we got a marlin on. Pretty cool. In there eating those tunas. He ate the Leroy blueberry, probably 100 pounder or so. Yeah, that was pretty cool. I think like 100 pounder, Ed. Okay, it's fine. Let's it down. Pump it up. Yeah, keep that hand up high on the grip. Keep that there. Keep your elbow straight. He's smooth. Yep. Like that. Well, okay. we're not going to pace my energy, but it won't even climb. So it will wind. Half the time it does work. Keep that line tight. This thing can swim toward the boat and you can move it to the slack of the line. Just keep cranking. If you don't come to slack at all, you can start cranking as fast as you can. Coming up here, we got about 50 yards to go. fish we have out here yeah he's right I mean he's right there yeah once we get that hook out of that fish you guys could come over the side and take a look at him Your swivel coming up right there okay so you got a couple more cranks and then he's gonna grab leader and you just stay stay right where you are in case he takes off again No Stop cranking right there, you're good. Woo! Bring that bill right to me. Hold that hook out. Okay, hooks out. There he goes, guys. I couldn't oh, hang on to it, my bad. Good cool. job, man. Congrats. Awesome. That's like a 100 pound blue marlin. Nice. Good job, dude. That's awesome. Good job there, guys. Well, we'll go try to do that again. We got him there. Nice. 
Blue Marlin, about 100 pounder. We do keep and eat those here in Hawaii, but uh, let some go get bigger sometimes too. So let that guy go, that was cool. Got the hooks at him this time we got him on leader there. Started jumping right behind the boat, so we let him go and let him get a little more tired. Got him up there, Ed did a good job on leader, grabbed the bill, got the hook out and sent him off. Probably in there eating those akus that we were catching that pile. We took a lap through that bird pile and had the rigger come down here. So we got that pile right in front of us here. We'll go back into that, see if we can get a couple more of those akus and then we'll keep, keep moving east after that. Well, we ended up leaving that bird pile. It was kind of moving the wrong way. We've been fishing the banks for about an hour and a half. Pretty slow. We just had our first auto bite. Just been working back and forth, 30 to 50 fathoms. A little slower. It was good yesterday, but uh, not so good today. So yeah, we'll work this a little bit longer. Go back to that area. We just got that auto bite and then start working from home. All right, well, we set back up there, turn back around. We had that same lure go off. Short corner. Oh no, it's coming up here. Mm -hmm. Nice and down that line. You got off that bump. Color. It's pulling good. Yeah. Going. Now, yep, here, nice and smooth. Okay, that's good right there. Get him out of that prop wash. Good one there, guys. Look at that. Got him there, nice 20, 25 pound no no. That's a black and pink steel jet head. But yeah, we've been working the banks an hour and a half and finally got one. That's what we were looking for here. So we'll work this area, go back and forth here for a little bit, and then we gotta turn for home. Just leaving the banks, we had a nicer, nicer fish come in, hit the center. It's five inch flashy boo with that Juan Malolo bird. It's in 90 fathoms, so hard to tell. But taking line. Hey, that was in 90 fathoms, Ed, so I don't know. Could be uh, Ono, could be Shibi. Hey, nice little yellow to it. Really? Cool. Great work. Coming up right there, we got about... 10 yards left. If it's a shibi and it's decent size, go ahead and gaff it. Yeah, it's a shibi. It's a shibi, I think like a, oh, you got him? A nice shibi. Hey, look at how he's hooked. Found yellowfin tuna, ate that five inch flashy boo chrome head. Yeah, we were just jumping off of the ledge, we were 95 and that guy fit. So I wasn't quite sure, I thought maybe Ono or Shibi, and it was a Shibi. So that's cool. We'll set the lures back up. We're gonna start pointing for home here, see if we can find anything else on the way back. Well, no bites on the way home. We're at two miles now, we're just clearing lines. So yeah, it was good action today. Good to start off with those two Akus and that Marlin this morning. The banks didn't bite real good, but we were able to get that, that Ono and that Shibi when we were leaving. We'll take a good action there. We'll get it, we'll pull those fish out and we'll get them cut up. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't know they called Mahi that. About like a oh, I thought they were feeding them dolphins. Um, yeah, that just opened up. Right, right down one. Good. This is called an Ono right here. Then on the ground there, you got a yellowfin tuna and a couple skipjack tuna. Yeah, we released the marlin. Oh, y'all released it? Yeah. There's a turtle right there. That feels so good right there. Where is it? Oh, yeah. There's a turtle right there. Turtle right there. Oh, 
want to get one too? Yeah. No, 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 it's dead. It's been dead for about an hour. Hey, you guys, real pleasure taking me out. Yeah, yeah, there's a couple people on the uh, I'm uh, fishing shit like that, uh, raw. You're supposed to freeze all that. Yeah. All the stuff we catch in California, we usually all, uh, now you gotta freeze maybe everything. I forget. It's gone now. Eat those raw? No. Yeah, those are the best ones to talk about. Just the bluefin and the...